Press pause and answer the question. All right. We're given that the least common multiple is 200. And we're given that the greatest common factor of the same two numbers is 5. And we're trying to figure out what are the two numbers. All right. So there's actually a calculator shortcut to all this. So if you go to the calculator shortcuts or calculator pro tips section of our course, you can use your calculator to determine this. And it's actually kind of, um, it'll probably save you a lot of time and a little bit of headache. And it'll be more accurate than doing it by hand. But let's go ahead and unfold it by hand anyway. I think it's good to understand what it is that we're actually trying to do. So if we're looking at the least common multiple, say let's take 3 and 5, and let's do it on a number line. So multiples of 3, we can kind of skip 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so forth. And multiples of 5, we can start at 5, and we can multiply 5 times 2, and we get 10, and times 3 is 15, and 20, and 25, and so forth. And you see there's this overlap right here. That's our least common multiple. So it's the lowest number that's a multiple of both 3 and 5 on the number line. And it works out pretty well because it's 3 times 5. 3 times 5 will always be a common multiple. If you take the two numbers and you just straight up multiply them, you'll get a common multiple. And in this case, it's also the least common multiple. But it's not always. If we look at, for instance, 4 and 10, we can do 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and so forth. And we can go 10, 20, 30. And we see that the least common multiple here is 20. Now, 4 times 10 is 40. And that is a common multiple. But our least common multiple is 20. So in this case, our least common multiple is lower than just simply multiplying 4 times 10. Now, a common factor. Let's look at two numbers, let's say 12 and 30. Okay, So if we factor out 12, the numbers that go into 12 are, well, 1 times 12 makes 12, as does 2 times 6, as does 3 times 4. That's one of the reasons I mentioned that there's a movement afoot to change our numbering system to base 12. I don't think it's going to get a lot of traction because Inertia is pretty heavy in this case, but 12 just breaks into pieces much easier than 10. We have 10 fingers, so we have a base 10 system, but anyhow, there's a lot more factors of 12 than there are of 10. So those are our factors of 12. Now, if we look at our factors of 30, we have 1 times 30, and we have 2 times 15, and we have 3 times 10. 4 doesn't go into 30, but we also have 5 times 6. So our numbers are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. So what we're looking for is our greatest common factor. And so we're going to start up here in 30, 12, 15, 10, 6. OK. Now we see with 6, we see that's our biggest common factor. So going back to ours, our answer is going to be this one, 25 and 40. And so why is that? Well, we do that because. If we look at some of the others, they just don't work. This one, 20 goes into both of these. So in this case, 20 is the greatest common factor. And we have a greatest common factor we're given uh, of 5. But in this case, 20 goes into 20, and 20 goes evenly into 100. All right, let's look at this one. Uh, same kind of problem. 10 goes into both of these. 10 goes into 40, and 10 goes into 50. So 10 is the greatest common factor. In this one, each one goes into 20. So 5 goes into 20, and 20 goes into 20. So 200 is not the least common multiple. 20 is. And in this one, each one goes cleanly into 100. So 10 goes into 100 and 25 goes into 100. So 200 is not the least common multiple. In that case, 100 is. So what we're left with is this one, where 5 is the greatest common factor that goes into both 25 and 40. And 200 is the least common multiple uh, of 25 and 40.